Linear systems, word problems. Our question says, Freddie has a total of $3.50 in nickels and dimes. If he has 49 coins in total, how many of each type does he have? So we're going to try to approach this question using our grasp solving method. So we're going to try to break it down into what was given in the question, what's being required for us to do, analysis where we make a plan of how we're going to solve the question, do the actual question, make the solution, and then present our answer in a sentence. So I'm going to start with the G, what's given. So what's given in this question? Well, a couple of things. Number one, he has nickels and dimes. He also has a total of $3.50. And he has a total of 49 coins. Okay, so that's all the information really that the question has given me. Um, our next step, the required. What is the question asking me to find? Usually the last sentence will help you with that. So it says, if he has 49 coins in total, how many of each type does he have? So the question wants to know how many nickels, how many dimes? Okay, so that's my required. The analysis. This is always the tricky part where we have to think about what we're trying to find, think about what we're going to do, what skills we have, what formulas we know. So the question wants to know how many nickels, how many dimes. So at the top of my little flow chart, I'm going to write nickels and dimes. That's what we're trying to find. And how are we going to do that? That's the tricky part. What has this unit been all about? It's been about solving linear systems. And how do we solve linear systems? Well, so far we've done it by graphing, substitution, or elimination. So I don't see a grid here, and graphing really isn't my favorite method. So I'm either going to use substitution or elimination. So we're going to try to figure that out using substitution or elimination, depending on what you like the best. Now, in order to do substitution and elimination, what do I need? I need two equations. How am I going to make two equations? What information do I have that I could use for my equations? Well, one of them is that we have a total of $3.50. And the other one is that we have a total of 49 coins. So for one of them, I'm going to use the fact that there are 49 coins. And for the other one, we're going to use the fact that it's $3.50. And it doesn't seem like much, but it really is just a plan to get us started to help us figure out where we're going to go from here, how we're going to solve the question. So. That brings me to the S, the solution part. So in order to do this question, I need to make some equations. In order to have equations, I need variables. So first, we're going to start with some let statements, and we're going to think about what was uh, required. So how many nickels, how many dimes? So I'm going to let something be the number of nickels and let something be the number of dimes. Now, I could let one of them be x 
and then try to write the other one in terms of the same letter. But in this unit, when we're doing substitution and elimination, we're dealing with two different variables. So I'm actually just going to let one of them maybe be N for nickels and the other one be D for dimes. You could do X and Y. It's up to you whatever letters you want to choose. So I need to set up two equations, and there are two different pieces of information here that we're given. One of them is the total number of coins, right, that there are 49 altogether. The other one is how much money they're worth, the $3.50, right? So one of them is going to come from that 49 coins, right, that I made up in my plan here. And the other one is going to come from that $3.50. So the 49 coins, um, here we let N and D be the number of nickels and dimes. So the number of nickels and dimes would match up with the 49 coins because the total number of nickels and dimes is going to be 49. So if I take the number of nickels and I add the number of dimes, it's going to give me 49. Now this one's a little trickier. The $3.50 isn't the number of nickels and the number of dimes. It's the value of the nickels and the value of the dimes. So anytime you're doing a question that involves value, right, if I had five nickels and I wanted to know what they were worth, you have to take five nickels and multiply that by the value, which would be five cents, to calculate how much they're actually worth. So when I'm doing this question, I know a nickel is worth five cents. So if I want to know how much money I have in nickels, I would take 5 cents or 0 0.05 and times it by the number of nickels. And a dime is worth 10 cents. So if I wanted to know how much money I had in dimes, I would do 10 cents times the number of dimes to figure out how much money that was. And all together, that should give me $3.50. So I have one equation over here, n plus d equals 49. I have another equation over here that has some decimals. We could get rid of the decimals by multiplying by 100. I actually don't mind decimals so much. I'm just not a fan of fractions. Um, so we could choose to do either substitution or elimination. Um, when I look at this equation here, I do notice that there are no coefficients in front of the n or the d, and I feel like substitution is a good method to use. But if you like elimination better, use elimination. I think I am going to rearrange for n, which means I'm going to subtract d from both sides here to get 49, take away d. And I'm going to take this equation, and everywhere I see an n in the other equation, I'm going to put in 49, take away d. So I get 0 0.05 times 49 take away D plus, and then I don't really need the bracket here anymore, so 0 0.10D equals $3.50. So I'm going to multiply the 0 0.05 into the bracket. So 49 times 0 0.05 is 2.45. 0 0.05 times negative D is minus 0 0.05 D. And then plus 0 0.10 D equals $3.50. I'm going to collect up my like terms. So I have two terms that have Ds in them. So I have that 2.45. I have negative 0.05D plus 0.10D. Helps if I think about it as money. So 10 cents take away 5 cents would give me 5 cents. Or use your calculator. And then I want to solve for D. So I'm going to take 2.45 away from both sides.
and I get 0.05D equals 1.05. And then we're going to divide that by 0 0.05. And I get 21. So what does that mean? We said D was going to be the number of dimes. So if D is 21, that means we have 21 dimes. Now, the other thing that I do have to find is not just the dimes. I also have to know how many nickels. So I'm going to take that 21 and pop it back into the equation here to see if I can figure out how many nickels. So I get 49, take away D, which is 21. So 49, take away 21, is 28, which means there are 28 nickels and 21 dimes. So that brings me to the P. So G-R-A-S-P, P is to present our answer. So our sentence at the end is going to say, therefore, so the question said, how many of each type does he have? So Freddie has. 28 nickels and 21 dimes. And those are linear system money problems.